Yeah, when I was uh, manning a farmer's market table um, on a regular, on a weekly basis, what I'd often have is people coming up to me and saying, I tried gardening in Calgary and you just can't garden. You. I gave up and uh, now I come to the farmer's market, which is great for me, but I always had to stop and say, actually you can grow food in Calgary. Some of the things that grow well here in Calgary are your leafy greens, uh, so salad greens and spinach. Um, kale, chard, Mizuna is one of the ones that uh, we local farmers really love. When I think about the, uh, the local economy here in Calgary, uh, one of the things that pops into my mind from my standpoint as a farmer is, is the connection to the restaurants. And, and so we've had a restaurant take a risk on us um, and you know, for us to supply them with a large amount of kale uh, throughout the season. And, and so that, that's kind of cemented a relationship. I've been able to hire an employee and, uh, and thus we, I actually have a, a, a sustainable, sustainable business uh, as a result of that. Uh, and so when you choose to purchase locally, uh, there's nine little companies that you are supporting. And, and so at, at the first kind of swath, there's, a, there's an economic value, um, keeping, keeping our economy, the money into, in, our, in our local economy and uh, helping it thrive in that way. Uh, the, other, the other part is, uh, I mean, lettuce is just hands down, I mean, tastes better when it is cut that morning and then brought to you to your plate uh, that evening. And uh, I think that's the one we kind of go on a bit of a lettuce fast over the winter because we, we miss the taste of real lettuce. Another benefit for locally grown produce is, is that um, at least the small kind of farmer, we're, we're, very, we're very attentive to our yards. Uh, and we take nutrient density very seriously, and so we want to add compost. We want to, uh, uh, I spray with vermicompost uh, teas, and uh, we use kelp meal and, and different things like that. A lot of organic methods just to kind of keep the nutrient density up in the soil. And, uh, and so with that kind of attention uh, given to your food just uh, is going to create a better product at the end of the day. And so I do think it tastes better, and I think at the end of the day it might even be better for you. That's my job as a, as a farmer, is to kind of nurture that, that microbial life. And so we do that in, in a number of different ways. Um, compost is a, is a great one. Um, but also green manures, like plant peas or rye, and then work that into the soil. Um, because basically we don't feed our plants, we feed the soil. And when the soil is vital and healthy, then, then really we're all healthy. I know like there's a lot of social like, economic development that uh, that conversation is, is very vibrant here in Calgary and uh, and so you know when you have these conversations it always seems that we come back to, to, the, to the topic of food um, and I think largely because we're, we're all hungry we all need to eat and so uh, it, it kind of is one of the primary things if we want to if we want to address the, the food system, um, we need to talk about that in, in terms of, of how we can do that in a local way. Uh.